I really love miniatures that actually work. And it's surprising that I found this actually at uh, Dollarama, which is our local dollar store. And uh, it's a little music box piano in 124 scale. Yay, let's put it together. <laughs> Okay, I know this kit only costs four dollars, but let me tell you, it's right in, right up there, like one of my favorite things. It was so cute. So it's a laser cut kit, and uh, so you have to punch out all the pieces. And probably the best way to punch out laser cut pieces is to actually cut the little parts where it's attached to the form first. And the reason why is because you don't want to break these pieces. They're um, although they are really super sturdy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, file off the burnt part. So you know, because it's laser cut, it's gonna have that uh, charcoal kind of on the edge. So I wanna file that off of the keyboard because I want the front of the keyboard to look white like it's uh, um, actually keys. So what I'm doing is, is I'm just taking some white acrylic paint and I'm watering it down quite a bit. And then I'm painting it because I want it to you, you to still see the part that's got the impression of the keys through it. So um, so I don't want to solidly paint it. I want to still be able to see the little keys. So you can see here I'm kind of wiping it off a little bit. So it'll be kind of a little bit of an ivory color. So um, yeah, I think that that will work quite well. So, um, I guess there's all different ways that you could finish this, uh, little piano off, but, uh, um, I would prefer to paint it rather than, uh, stain it. It does have designs on it, so you could stain it, but, uh, you'll see what I do to it. So I've got out the Elmer's wood glue and I'm gluing the entire thing together with Elmer's wood glue. So, which I think is probably the best glue to use for this job. So this here is the tiny little piano bench. And as you can see, I did not file the edges of, uh, of that off um, other than to file the little tab areas. Um, so I'm just kind of, putting it together and trying not to make a mess. And uh, now I'm gluing the little top of the bench on. So I'm, I'm actually really tickled. I find it hard to believe that I was able to find a miniature that actually works at the dollar store. And when it's all put together, it's actually not a bad little miniature. It did come, um, there was a grand piano, like what was featured on my thumbnail for this video. They did have that as well. And then they had something that kind of, I guess it would be reminiscent of a... Uh, one of those old-timey uh, record players like a gramophone, but not too terribly re realistic. And then they had a harp. Now, the harp would be perfect for 112 scale, but the part where the um, actual strings are was wood. So if you were to make it in the 112 scale, I would cut that wooden part off and then put actual real strings on it that you could make out of a really super fine wire. So, um, yeah, so uh, this thing did come with instructions, but of course, you know, I'm the last person to look at instructions. So uh, this video is extremely edited because, of course, I put the thing all together incorrectly. <laughs> So I'm just showing you the correct parts. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. So even even a dollar store toy that's meant for a child to put together. Yeah, I did it wrong the first time, but that's okay. I did finally get it right, and here's what it looks like. So then um, I'm taking some black uh, acrylic paint, and I'm not going to bore you with painting the entire thing, but... Uh, I painted everything in black. In hindsight, I could have used some wood filler everywhere where the little tabs are, but 
I didn't think it was that important. So um, I just kind of wanted to see what it looked like and hear what it sounded like. And then I went in with this uh, little acrylic paint pen and uh, painted in all of the minor keys. And this is what she looks like. I am like just so tickled with this little thing. And I painted the little foot pedals in uh, the testers gold paint. And yeah, it's cute as a bug's ear. And it is perfectly 124 scale. So perfect for my any one of my dollhouses. I just absolutely adore this thing. A pretty haunting melody hey <laughs> if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please subscribe as it really helps my channel leave some comments and hit that like button thanks for watching today and have the best day ever